So we couldn't save him. Picking back up where we left off in the last video, we um tried to save Crest and we failed. I guess not. You're wrong. What do you mean? The future changed, all right. Now I'm going to be a sage. I promised Master Crest. And I think I'll rescue him when I become a sage myself. Good. Monica? Max? Thank you. I'll never forget you. Good luck in your battle against the evil. So even though you Crest bet. died, we did have an effect on Lynn's Take future. care of yourself, Lynn. And we're about to see that effect in just a minute. years into the future. And as depressing as things were just a minute ago, a hundred years changes a lot. Because now the moon crystal is at Starlight Temple. Madam Crest. And what's this, it's Madam Crest? I'd almost given up waiting. I wonder You've who been that a could long be. Time coming. Huh? It's I've been waiting for Lynn. you to come. You see, I've become a sage just like I promised. Tell and me, she's tell old. me. Lynn? No way. What do you mean? How rude! I am Lin! What? So you made it! You became a legendary sage! Yes, that's right! But I took on my teacher's name! I see. There's no need to explain why you're here. I've got a fair idea already. Because I've lived my time straight through, unlike you. So, shall we find out about Griffin, then? Yes, that'd be great, Lynn. Ahem! <clears throat> Don't address me like that! You must call me Crest, the Great Sage! <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, despite losing, uh, the sage that she loved, Lynn went on to become the Great Sage Crest, and now she's going to help us find out a little bit more about Griffin. <clears throat> Griffin is 10,000 years in the past now. 10,000 years? That's a lot That's of years. Right. It seems that he's sending an unthinkably powerful consciousness from that time to ours, all by his own doing. The servants of Griffin in our time are those who are in sympathy with this consciousness. So they're all being controlled? They're acting of their own free will. They're evil from the beginning, just like Griffin himself. In other words, they've sold their souls to the darkness. Griffin is using those people and trying to destroy the world. What does he plan on getting out of that? Who knows? But I believe the only way to stop him is to go to his time and destroy him there. Go back 10,000 years? That's right. But how can we go 10,000 years in the past? 
Your Acnemedia can only travel 100 years at best. Those stones were never intended for this kind of thing. So what can we do? A 10,000 year leap through time? I don't even know if it's possible. But if it could be done... Go on. Those from the Lunar Lab would be the ones that could do it. Lunar Lab? So now we know our next objective. Lunatic Wisdom Laboratory. <clears throat> it used to be the largest research facility in the world. It was on the Venicchio coast. It was? You mean that it's vanished now too? Yes. So, the Venicchio coast is next. So, that settles it. You'd better get going. Thank you, Crest the Great Sage. See you, Lynn. <laughs> so now we know where our next stop is, but we still have some work to do here before we can sign off on Balance Valley forever. My master, watch over those children. Look after those who saved me. Lin was a sage, and had become strong. I'm sure Crest had become a star, and was looking down on Lin from above. Because for Lin, Crest would always be the one true sage, forever. Just in time. We're ready to go again. Just let me know when you're all set to go. Okay, so we're not exactly set to go yet. Um, we do still have some things to do here in Balanced Valley and Starlight uh, Temple. So let's get to that now. Okay, so there's still one thing left to do here. See, we're at 90% now. There's one thing left to do, and that's to restore the weapon shop. Now, in order to do that, we need to um, get Blinkhorn into the valley. So, we're going to need to make a fence around his... Um, oh, and um, we need to break this. Also, I want to go ahead and put mailboxes in front of everyone's houses. Let's see, we've got... Okay, we need... We really need like five mailboxes. The restaurant, the Chinese stand doesn't need a mailbox. Okay, so let's do the mailbox. Uh, I can edit backwards. Yeah, okay. There's a mailbox. And... There's a mailbox. And there's a mailbox. And there's a mailbox. 
So now everyone's got a mailbox. Our culture points are 107. But now to play to put Blink One in um, this house over here, he's gonna want a fence around his house. Where the hell is his house? I hate Balance Valley. I really, really hate it. That's Stewart's house. I need to move, um... Let's see. I need to move some things here. Put this tree back here. I'm put this well closer to the house. And the barn. And the porch. There and the torch, uh, anywhere the torch is torch, torchy torch, um, torchy torch. Okay, let's make one iron gate. Place the iron gate. Uh, like so. Now. Okay, we're gonna need some more metal before we can before we can fit before we can make the fence. We're gonna need some more metal, so. Move back to the station and buy some more metal. The ones that need a fence all the way around their house are kind of tricky and throw off your planning sometimes. I'm gonna need a lot of metal in the next Giorama, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy as much as I can. Right now without without breaking a gold bar. Cause we're gonna need a buttload of metal for the next Giorama. fences don't magnetize the gate, but they don't, so you kind of have to line it up real close like that. Uh, and we're kind of going to pull it in like that.
they never really completely even out. So let's take this gate and move it over just a little. It's so sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. See, you can, you can never really get the ends to properly connect no matter what you do, so that's about the best we're going to do. It's uh, almost good enough. It should be good enough for Blink Horn anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and paint that fence. Um, we're just going to paint it black. Paint all... Okay, so we painted the whole fence black. And we're going to paint the gates black. Okay, so... Got a nice iron fence around this house with a barn and a well. All that's left is put Sheriff Linkhorn in the house. And... 100%. So let's go to the future now. Let's go out to the future. Let's go out to the future. Let's go out to the future and get ourselves a um I want to say the reward here is a so uh I don't remember what the reward here is. But we're going to find out. <laughs> it looks like Starlight Temple has been completely restored. And it's all thanks to you two. Please, take this. Yep, so it's a sword. We Thank really don't you, need that Sage. sword. Oh, very good! <laughs> but I'm either gonna sell it or um, I might I might make a sincere out of it. Let's see. Let's look at it. Um. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I said lightning. It's late. Anyway, uh, uh, I think uh, once I get enough level up powders from Sveta, I'm gonna make this into a synth, uh, synth sphere. So let's just stick it down there for now. And hang on to it. I can send it onto a weapon. I need to take a picture of the moon crystal. Because it's a scoop. Okay, now. I'm going to do a quick hunt for treasure chests, but. Uh, well, might as well leave it running because this is going to be the last episode of this uh, chapter anyway. There's nothing else to do in this chapter except explore this upper area here. And there's a lot of little treasure chests up here. Um... Well, there's a couple anyway. Uh, 
kind of the way down from here is over here. So we're gonna look around here. I don't expect to see anything down here. We're just gonna do one last sweep for chess. In Starlight Temple, now that it's been completely restored. There's the weapon shop. I'll go in there real quick. After I'm done looking around out here. Now again, there's that one that we don't touch until chapter 6. And there's one pearl. That's a good thing to find. That's, um... Let's show you that. That's a, uh... That, uh increases lightning, exorcism, and durability. So, I think there's a photo in here. There's a couple, actually. Hat and horn. Yes. Hat, horn. Let's only hope so. Let's see what they've got. Nothing terribly useful, unfortunately. So, we've completely restored the diorama. We've completely restored Starlight Temple. We've, um, done everything we need to do here and we are finally finished with chapter 3 so the only thing left to do is move on to the next chapter which we will do in the next episode so this is uh, Mithril Moss signing off. Until next time, see you next adventure when we start my favorite chapter of the game, Chapter 4 in Venicio. Or Venicio, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, see you next time.